What is going on YouTube fam? NandoPrince93 here with another quick video. So I kind of teased this video yesterday in the video that I made about the new iPad beta, iPad OS beta 5 features. And I just thought this was pretty cool. So as you guys know, I had a MacBook Pro previous to this iPad Pro. So I would use the app Duet, which is um, a second display app, which allows you to use your iPad as a secondary display to your computer, to your MacBook Pro. So obviously I just assumed, hey, it's probably only works for Mac, right? So, but as you guys can see, I have my iPad Pro literally running Windows, right? Which I think is freaking awesome. So I can, I can use my iPad Pro to get Windows running nice and smooth, which is so, so cool. So that's what's, all, that's what's awesome about Duet. So there are a couple companies that make the secondary display solutions, I guess you can call it. There's Luna, Luna Display is one of them which is very popular, especially because it not only uses uh, a cable connection, but you can also do a wireless connection. And I, heard, I hear it's very, very stable and there isn't a lot of um, latency. Duet is another one, which is a lot cheaper. It requires a wired connection unless you join the monthly membership model, which I haven't done. And then of course you have Sidecar, right? Which is coming out with uh, Mac OS Catalina, which allows you to use your MacBook Pro and your iPad at secondary display, like wirelessly, and it's supposed to be very good. And I'm, I'm gonna assume it's going to be very good because Apple is releasing it and using it as its own product. So unfortunately, I think Luna Display is gonna get hurt hugely. But I thought, hey, I don't have a MacBook Pro anymore. Is it still possible to use the Duet app with my Dell computer, which I have right here? So I wanna see if it was possible to use my Dell computer and my iPad Pro together. And it works flawlessly, guys. I mean, this is awesome. I'm working from home today. I usually have a big, I think 27 inch Dell monitor that I use at work with my Dell computer. And this, the Dell computer is about 13 or 14 inch screen. It's not that nice. It's, you know, it gets the job done, but it's not great. And I usually need a secondary display because I have a lot of applications running at the same time and a lot of data that I'm looking at. So. I thought this was awesome. It's a very, very cool way to, you know, to use your iPad, whether or not you have, cause I, cause I know that people, they, they aren't fully into the Apple ecosystem. You know, maybe they have an iPhone, but they have a Galaxy tablet, or maybe they have an iPad Pro, but they use a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 or something like that for their everyday. So some people have uh, a work computer, a Microsoft work computer, cause that's, you know, it's the standard from most places. I know this, the change is coming little by little, but I'm glad that I'm able to use the Duet Display app which again was, I think I said, in a, I reviewed the Duet app before and I said it was $10. I think now it's $15, but they're, they are running a 50% off promotion. So if you guys wanna try it out, it works with any iPad, any iOS or iPad OS device. So I haven't tried it, but apparently it works with your iPhone. It works with any of the iPads, whether it's a mini, pro, air, regular iPad, as long as you have the right connector, it works. So this is connected just strictly through USB-C to USB-C. Before I would use, USB-C to Lightning, because I had the old iPad Pro. I've seen people use regular USB-A to, to Lightning as well. So as long as you have the right cable and connection, it doesn't require internet. It just does it through the wire, so you're not relying on internet. It's not perfect, so it's more so maybe to have something up running in the background over here, maybe like a YouTube video, you know, maybe Netflix while you're doing work on the actual computer, or you have an Excel sheet open, and it'll run smoothly. So you guys can see, opening up my OneNote, move this over, and boom, I'm looking at all my notes from all my meetings that I've had so far, while I'm maybe inputting it into an actual note sheet. So I really enjoy this. I know it's a little bit clickbaity, but I wanted to show you guys how cool this looks. There are different options. For instance, if you bring up, so Duet Display does have a few options. You can do 60 FPS or 30. There's a couple of performance options, high power, energy efficient, or pixel perfect. And then there's a different, you know, different resolutions. I found that 1536 by 1152 works best with this iPad. If you go to 2048 by 1536, it gets a little distorted and I don't like it. And then the other ones are obviously, everything gets blown up if you're at 1024 by 768. That's really gonna do for this video, guys. I highly recommend Duet, it's cheap. I know Luna Display is 60, 70, 80 bucks, something like that. If you do have a MacBook Pro and you are gonna get, or any MacBook actually, and you are gonna get Mac OS Catalina and you do have an iPad Pro, that sidecar will work perfectly for you. I am under the impression that Sidecar will only work for Pro models though. So if you have an iPad Air, iPad Mini, uh, I don't think it'll work. Don't quote me on that. I gotta do my research and I'll definitely play around with it once it does come out. 
But this is what we have for now. This is a great solution. I think it's $7.50 right now. Duet works well, as long as you have the right cable, the right devices, and it's an awesome, you know, at home um, secondary display. So you're not, you know, lugging around a monitor or you're not restricted to a desk. Like I can just put both of these in my bag and I'm good to go. But that's gonna do it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. We're doing really, really well. Everything I use is gonna be listed below. So anytime you guys use one of the Amazon affiliate links, no matter if you get that product or not, it helps out. So if any of you guys ever decide to get an iPad Pro, I highly recommend getting it from Amazon because it's always on sale. It's at least always $50 off no matter what model. Like this one was $250 off on Prime Day, but they always, for some reason, have it at least $50 off, even the 12.9 inch one. But usually the more you spec it up, the more money you get off. So thank you so much again, guys. Until next time, peace.